Hello, uh, my name is Harvey Jones. I am the local councillor for the Beaumont Ward of the City of Burnside. Uh, I'm here today at the National Trust's property, Beaumont House, which is on Glenburn Road in Beaumont. Uh, we're gonna do a tour of the house and the magnificent gardens and have a chat with uh, some of the National Trust staff. So I'm here at Beaumont House with the Chief Executive of the National Trust of South Australia, Dr. Darren Peacock. Darren, thank you for having us. Oh, our pleasure. So the house was built in the 1850s. That's right, yeah. Um, for, um, originally built by Bishop Augustus Short, the first Archbishop of Adelaide. That's right, yeah. So there's, there's been a house, a small brick house here since then, um, but it's grown in stages. So mm -hmm. you, you see when you go in the house, how it was built up over 60 years. So right. it's actually quite an interesting house because of all the different additions to it over time. Okay, so the original building is, is we here by the Actually, we're at the, at the newest part here. Right. This okay. is the 1911 extension. So okay. that's the most modern part of it. Right. Um, the oldest part is at the back. Okay, all right. So we'll go around and have a look at that We later. can do that, yes. So yep. was this a typical building of the period? Not really, um, because it evolved in quite interesting ways. And you had very interesting people who lived here yep. doing different things over that 60 year period. So this um, latest extension has quite a kind of Mediterranean feel about it, yes. um, which was much um, later. And it also has decoration, which is more Art Nouveau. So you've got that late 19th century design mm -hmm. feeling about this part of the house, whereas yep. the earlier parts are very traditional, more English style design. Right, even though it's in a, a hot climate, South Australia, did they just come and build an English style house in Adelaide or, or were they, you know, influenced by South Africa and India? where the British had come from? It's a really good question because I think they were learning over that time, but early on, they didn't really know how to do anything else. Right. So, they, so they bought their English models of, of building houses, but they did discover that Adelaide has the most amazing Mediterranean climate. And Samuel Davenport, so Samuel Davenport, who was one of the, I suppose he, he lived here almost longer than anyone else, mm -hmm. he um, had grown up in the south of France. So yes. he understood that this was a Mediterranean climate before a lot of other people realised that. So he brought that particularly to the garden. So yes. the garden has that Mediterranean feel because Davenport recognised that's what you would grow here. Yes. If you're growing English cottage gardens, it's not going to work. No. <laughs> So one notable concession to the climate is I understand the house has got a flat roof. It does, yes. And that was also so you could have a lookout. Because as right. you can see, you can see right down to the ocean. Mm -hmm. So having a staircase up to the roof was really important in terms of being able to observe what was happening at the port. Right, okay. So the, the ports that way would be about 20 kilometres? That's right, yeah. So it's quite a trek, really. It is, that's right. Much better to look at, look at it from home. <laughs> The bishop first lived in the house while he was building Bishop's Court in North that, That's Adelaide. right. Samuel Davenport actually owned the land. Davenport right. bought the land in 1846, mm -hmm. but that, the first house was for Bishop Short, right. um, who came out here and wanted to live out of the city because uh, they lost a child just very shortly after they arrived from England and they felt that was because of the heat of right. the plains. Yes. They wanted somewhere that was going to be a bit cooler, so they moved up to, to the foothills yes. um, to have that kind of cooler air for their children. Yes and uh, there was a feeling that that was more healthy than being on the hot and sweltering plain. Yes, well it's interesting because I live three minutes that way and it's still pretty hot in summer that's up here in the that, foothills. That's, that's true, <laughs> but I think um, for Bishop Short, um, he built uh, onto that house. Yes. But then ultimately um, they built Bishop's Court for him in North Adelaide. So yes. he had a major upgrade and moved to North Adelaide. Yes, one of um, the most magnificent houses in Adelaide. Absolutely, yeah. Yes. And shows how important he was yes. in the community at that time. Yes. So, Darren, Sir Samuel Davenport, he had 16,000 olive trees you mentioned before. Yes. And you've still got some of those olive trees today. We do. We've got a remnant of the original orchard. Mm -hmm. And what we did about five years ago was decided to prune those trees back into health so they could produce olives. And so now we've been producing Davenport olive oil again. So I'm going to present you with a bottle of original Davenport olive oil. Thank you very much. Handpicked by our volunteers. And uh, it's a very nice olive oil. And you actually make it on the premises? We do. Oh, no, we take them to be crushed elsewhere. Right, OK. But we yes. pick them here and it's yes. hard work and we do that once a year with a lot of volunteers. Yes. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you very much. And that's the original packaging? That's, that's right. Yeah, that, like. that's the label that they used on the, the last run that was done here about 50 years ago. 
The, the other thing I should mention, of course, connected with the selling of produce is the Pioneer Women's Walk from Harndorf every year. That's right, that's our biggest event we have at Beaumont. And so that walk is a reenactment of the walk taken by the Pioneer German women who carried their produce on their shoulders, on their backs, yeah. down from Harndorf to Adelaide. And so it's an amazing trek. It's about 30 k's, but the walk we do takes you from Harndorf to Beaumont House. And so people do that once a year, and it's an amazing event. We get more than a thousand people wanting to reenact that. And then we come to Beaumont House after that walk, and they're all pretty tired, and have a great celebration at the house. I'm not surprised, because I sometimes walk up to Mount Osborne, and that's uh, enough for me. That's right. Uh, well, it's actually downhill coming from Harndorf, but still there are some hilly bits. Yes, yeah. and of course they'd have to walk back. They do. And what they used to walk back with, they'd take bricks back up to Harndorf. So right. they take their produce down, but they take bricks back up to um, build houses. And how often did they do that? Uh, once a week. Once a week? Yep, so they're pretty fit. <laughs> <laughs> that really is quite amazing. And, it is, and yeah. when is that? that it usually is happens in, in May. In May. So, okay. so basically, it's a good time of the year. It's not, yes. not too cold, not too hot. And uh, yeah, it's a really popular event, and we encourage everyone to have a go at it at least Excellent. once. Well, Darren, thank you very much for having us today. My pleasure, Harvey. Uh, thank you for giving us a, a tour of the house and, and tour of the gardens. Thank you very much. Very happy to have you here. Cheers. Thank you.